Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Oregon. We're in the city of Portland. We're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Powhurst Gilbert. Powhurst Gilbert is located in the southeast section of Portland, Oregon. It's 53 degrees outside right now. We got pretty clear skies. We're about four minutes away from our desired start destination. We got the Konkin Auto Group on our left. $10 for 10 joints lifted. A dispensary directly in front of us. There was a billboard on our right that advertised $10 for 10 joints. Wow, that was a horrible pothole, guys. Horrible pothole. We're passing 109th Ave. We got a windows and doors business on my left. Arrow striping on our left. There, there goes that lifted dispensary on our left. The colorful building. Chevron gas on my right. $4.75 per gallon. We're on Division. We just passed KHL Markets and Bird Hut. Exotic bird business on our left. Looks like we're passing apartments on our right and possible living spaces on our left. We're passing 115th Ave. You got Stone Creek Apartments on my right hand side. All right, we're approaching the intersection of 117th and Division. You got Wellens Irish Pub on our left and a car wash on our right, a drive through car wash. We're passing 119th. 119th half. We have a Petco, a Burger King, a Grocery Outlet, a Rite Aid, and a Crunch Fitness on our right-hand side. We're going to be making this right-hand turn, so let's merge, right? You got now a Classic Collision on our left-hand side and Central Auto Body on our left-hand side. You got the Division Center directly in front of us on our right-hand side on 122nd Ave and Division. There's a clock on the top of the Division Center Tower. We're going to be making this right-hand turn on 122nd Ave. We got a Volvo V60 in front of us with Texas license plates. We got a Shell gas station across the street on my left-hand side. Regular gas is going for $4.79 a gallon. We got AT&T on my right. Let's make this right-hand turn on 122nd. We got Mingala on our left. A hair salon, Midway Plaza. O'Reilly's, Popeye's Chicken, Nail Salons, Shaggy, Den Smoke Shop, Vacuum Center, Golden Horse Bar and Grill, China Star Chinese Restaurant on my right. We're approaching Woodward. Now hiring school bus drivers on our left. $1,500 hiring business incentive. We're passing Tibbetts, 122nd Ave and Tibbetts. We're passing Kelly, 122nd and Kelly. We got Portland Surgical Sales on our left and SL Start on our left. We got a Shell gas station on our right, $4.69 a gallon. We're at 122nd Ave and Powell Boulevard, or Powell. So we're in Powellhurst, Gilbert. We got a 7-Eleven across the street on our left-hand side. We're next to an Octa Farmer Plasma business. In Powell Village, I see that they have a Dollar Tree, Metro by T-Mobile, and several other businesses. I see a business called Fabrics for Less Quality Area Rugs and A and J Tires and Wheel Service on our right hand side. So this neighborhood isn't too well defined. It's pretty large. It's an awkward shape. If, if, if you look at it on the map, it's, it's not a clean like square like some neighborhoods. It's like a bunch of odd rectangles sticking out of the 
perimeter of the neighborhood. There's a Jackson Hewitt on my right. It looks like we got a BMX shop on my right hand side. I'm gonna make this left on 124th. It's a dead end, so let's scratch this left. Let's make this right hand turn. We're gonna merge. The Green Remedy. There's another marijuana retailer on my right. They literally say marijuana retailer right on front of the business. I'm going to make this right-hand turn on 125th place. This is another dead end. Both of these are dead ends. There's a nice Volkswagen Classic on our left. We're going to go around this circle since this is a dead end. These are the East Point Apartments. We got the Powell Court on our left-hand side, too. I'm going to go around this circle, though. A and O quality tires and wheels on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this right hand turn coming up here. We're gonna turn on Powell Boulevard. There's Powell Motel. Seems like a lot of businesses and things in this area, apartments and stuff is named after Powell. P O W E L L. There's a construction site across the street. Looks like they're gonna be building something shortly. We're next to the nine bus stop. So we got dead ends all along my left and all along my right. So I'm not gonna go through none of these dead ends because we're gonna be making a lot of U-turns. I'm gonna to try to find a block that will take us to other blocks. I think this one right here on my left hand side. No, it says dead end. It literally tells you dead end right here. I think this is a block that's gonna take us to other blocks. Coming up. Next one, next one, next one. We just passed 130th. Fairhaven Apartments on my left hand side. Another dead end. Oh man. We got somebody just randomly jogging in the street on my left. They look distraught. We got the Scott Crest Plaza Apartments on my left. This is another dead end. I'm just gonna go through it because we passed probably half a dozen dead ends. And this is part of the neighborhood. This is in the neighborhood. So at least you guys can get an idea. That little kid on my right, seeing him in a little tricycle. He had his hair dyed red. We got a Class C on our left-hand side, RV. It's a motorhome. Looks like it's probably a good... Oh, they got a bench out in the rear so they can sit down. Looks like a good 31 feet. So they got lawns, driveways... See some vinyl side of houses, shingle side of houses. I'm going to make a U-turn here because we're literally driving towards someone's property. Remember, this is a do not enter. It's a dead end, so driving forward isn't going to make us any progress. At least this way around, you guys can see the little bench that I was talking about the RV had on the back. It literally has like an RV bench. See right here on my right? It's like sofas. That's cool. We're approaching Southeast Powell Boulevard. Let's make this left hand turn. Sir 13. I've seen a tag up that says Sir 13. I wonder if that means Sorenos 13, you know, the gang. I wonder if they um, are up here in Oregon also. Forbidden Fruit. There's a business called Forbidden Fruit. 420 every day. 18 and older. Exotic Club. Oh, snap. 420 every day. $25 bud ounces? What? $25? What are they selling you? Dirt? <laughs> 25 bucks an 
ounce? Did it say an ounce or was that an eighth? I, I don't even know. But 25 bucks an ounce is like, come up city. <laughs> right, we're passing a 17 bus stop, passing Roan. R-H-O-N-E, Roan. I'm trying to get to a place where we can like drive around some zigzag. We're passing Bush. I think let's make this left arm Bush. Cause I'm I'm trying to get to like where we can drive through a couple blocks, not just go through dead ends. Seems like this neighborhood has a lot of dead ends. All right, we got homes on our right. Homes on our left. Check it out. You see the address: thirteen thousand six hundred fifty-seven. Five number address. Hook set automotive and tires. Look at that little sign on my left. So this neighborhood, Paul Hurst, receives an F rating based on AreaVibes.com. Total crime is 228% above the national average. This is said to be one of the worst neighborhoods based on the World Wide Web, you know, based on the things I can find on the internet. But key findings shows that Paul Hearst's crime rates are not only 228% higher than the national average, but Paul Hearst's crime rates are 97% higher than the national average. In Paul Hearst, you have a 1 in 13 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Paul Hearst is safer than 2% of the cities in Oregon. Year over year, crime in Portland has decreased by 8%. It looks like a relatively quiet area. There's no sidewalks. Cost of living. This neighborhood gets a D minus. Again, based on areavibes.com. It's 11% higher than the national average. Twenty mile per hour speed limit. We're traveling about eight miles an hour. The Oregonian. On my right, the mailbox says the Oregonian. There's boats in the driveways, two car garages, one car garages, picket fence, chain link fence, wooden fence. The cost of living in Powerhurst is 6% lower than the Portland average. The cost of living in Powerhurst is 11% higher than the national average. Powerhurst housing is equal to the national average. Oregon general sales tax is 100% lower than the national average. Oregon state income tax is 103% higher than the national average. Going over this little speed table. It looks like they're working on a house on my right hand side. You see the home rack, the wrap, the Tyvek wrap. It's like a sheathing before they put the siding. We got street side mailboxes, you see? And it looks like some of these may be apartments. It looks like it. I know some of them look like homes, but some of them had a bunch of mailboxes right out front. Unless all the mailboxes for everybody's is in front of one person's house. But that's a different story. Could be that, you know what I mean? So, Paul Hurst receives a livability score of 52. I like that Raider on my left. The Raider the dude got, the, that he just drove by with, that was cool. So the median household income in the area is $40,114. We're at Roan and 144th Ave. Median home value, $186,475. High school graduation rates in the area are 69%. 60% lower than the US average. So I guess 69% of the senior class will actually graduate, while the other percentage will, I guess, drop out.
Let's make this right on Southeast Rhine, R-H-I-N-E, Rhine. Like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> Reminds me of that movie with the high school teacher. Yeah, gravel driveways too. I don't see many sidewalks though. Look at you got to walk in the street. Look at he parked on his grass. He said, "Forget that." And he got two RVs. No, he got an RV. He got a boat. That's pimping. He got the best of both worlds. You could go anywhere you want on a boat. You can go anywhere you want on the country. All he needs is next is a plane. Then he'll have the air, too. Land, water, and air transportation. We're at 48th and Rhine. We got China Garden in front of us, which provides Chinese food. I'm going to make a right. We got an e-scooter right there leaning on the ground. We're next to Powell Boulevard. That's on my left. If we would have went left, we would have hit Powell Boulevard. So Powell Hearst, Portland, Oregon crime. The statistics. Murder, 53%. Or I'm sorry, 53 reported. We're at Ryan and 148th. Let me make this left-hand turn. Oh, it's a dead end, so we're going to end up making a U-turn at the end of the road. Rape, 262 reported. Robbery, 807 reported. Hmm. So the population in this neighborhood is 32,982 people. Yes, it's a big neighborhood. It's that big. 32,000 people? That's big enough. That's that's bigger than a lot of cities. I've been to small towns that only had like two, three hundred, four hundred people. So this neighborhood is damn near its own city. 32,000 people? Over 30,000 people is a lot for a neighborhood. Yo, this car right here on my left got a lot of anime hentio. <laughs> they got a lot of anime hentio stickers. Like the anime art. The house on my right, they fenced it off. They got the gravel. The Oregonian mailbox, another Oregonian mailbox. This acre on my left got a flat. Let's make this left hand turn on 148th Ave, Southeast Rhine and 148th Ave. If this is what one of their quote unquote rougher areas looks like, then <laughs> it doesn't look that bad if you ask me. I don't see much debris. I don't see nobody politicking, hanging out. I don't see no young people, really. We're on Roan at 148th. Let's make this left-hand turn on Roan. This is the 14,000 block of Roan. One, four, zero, zero, zero. A lot of Oregonian mailboxes. I don't know if you could probably apply for that because not everybody has it. But I do see some people with the Oregonian mailboxes. The yellow one. You see it on my left? It says Oregonian. And it almost looks like the like the Times um, font. Like, like that old English script. We're at 150th Ave. Rowan and 150th. Look at the little squirrel dude. Yo, that squirrel was furry as ever. That squirrel was woofing. Got a nice Class C camper over here on my left. Nice RV Quantum. We're approaching another one on my right. We're approaching Bush Street. Bush. Let's keep moving forward because I see this nice old school Honda Accord. Camper on my right. Look at this Accord right here. Wow. It's not in bad shape. It's in, it's, it's in okay shape for the for the year. It has been resprayed. I can tell it's been resprayed. But that's the flip up light one. It's a 1987. It's not bad. My pop used to have one of them, Joe. It's LXI at five speed. All right. Let's continue moving forward. We have a basketball court on my right-hand side. We got more street-side mailboxes. We got some really tall trees in front of us. Look at those tall trees. I 
I like this classic truck on my left. Look on my left, Class A RV and Neptune. Another basketball court on my left hand side. E scooter on my left hand side. Let's make this left. Another basketball court on my right hand side. We're approaching Gladstone. 149th and Gladstone. There's a bunch of trees in front of us, like a forest. These people's houses in front of us, their backyard is a forest. All right, we're at 148th in Gladstone. Let's continue moving forward. Kingsgate Village, there's a sign on my right. Two bedroom units available. Dead end on my left, we're at 147th and center. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on, on, on 147th. We got a youngster on my left hand side, walking his dog on the lawn. All right. We're at uh, no outlet, so we're gonna go around this circle. This one property got like seven cars parked on the front of the property. You can see the youngster on my right walking his dog. 